When you've got the world's best and brightest robotics engineers, a boss who demands rapid progress as well as encourages you to push the boundaries of possibilities and deliver the impossible, it's no surprise we see Optimus progressing in such huge leaps in a relatively short space of time. From a dancer in a robot suit to looking something like it's made of parts from only the scrap metal box to this. Sure, its appearance hasn't changed much since we last saw Optimus, but its capabilities are growing fast. If you can't quite work out where things are heading in the future, or you don't like the idea of millions of humanoid robots wandering around the place, this might not be the video for you. Tesla just released this video showing a few of Optimus's new skills. Optimus's walk has become more confident. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate Optimus's walking skills comparable to any other human? Perhaps your average 80 year old. Assuming certain stability, this already looks capable enough of carrying or delivering items around factories. Dare I suggest not a million miles away from popping down to the shops for you, answering the door, carrying out a few chores. How many years away do you think that is? Elon Musk is expecting Optimus to enter limited production in 2025 for internal use, with hopes of expanding to other companies by 2026. That's not far away, is it? And yes, I understand Elon time, but there's no doubt Optimus is progressing very well indeed. It can now explore unseen spaces autonomously and avoid people and obstacles using neural nets on its computer. Right, pay attention to this bit, it's complicated but important. A single neural network is a computational system modelled after the brain, consisting of layers of nodes or neurons that process input data, i.e. through Optimus's cameras. It adjusts through learning to produce desired outputs, as in it changes or adapts its behaviour over time to reach the results that the operator asked of it. In simple terms, it's navigating like we do. It can do this because it captures visual cues specific to its environment. You can see here what objects Optimus is registering. Just as Tesla vehicles view their surroundings and take cues on when to intervene to avoid an accident, for example, or when Teslas are driving autonomously, under human supervision that is for now. The end goal is the same. Tesla will have fully autonomous vehicles as well as fully autonomous humanoid robots. What a bizarre time to be alive and witness such technological advancements. I guess if AI and robots do go AWOL and destroy everything after life on Earth began evolving 3.7 billion years ago, what a stroke of luck, I suppose, to be alive just as it all ends. Sorry, we're hoping for some comfort. That'll be fine. Together, multiple bots build and share understanding of their surroundings. Like bees building a hive, Tesla bots are already communicating with one another to carry out tasks. This is also similar to Tesla vehicles that are collecting billions of miles of real-world data from their fleet of cars and, as Elon pointed out at the recent We Robot event, capturing bizarre scenarios that most people would never come across in their lifetimes. It's this fleet learning for both bots and cars that will give a shared understanding of their surroundings, their environment, that will ultimately lead to no more edge case scenarios. Robots and vehicles successfully navigating our world. So, together multiple bots build and share understanding of their surroundings, which they can later tap into for navigation. Imagine the scenario. An Optimus is asked to go and retrieve an object, a tool perhaps. It immediately recalls where it saw it, but instead of walking off to get it, it communicates with an Optimus that's closer to that tool, and before you know it, tool is on its way. And Optimus can locate and navigate to the nearest charging station, and dock itself precisely using its rear camera only. That's right, don't expect to creep up on Optimus. It'll see you coming. Creepy. My mum used to say she had eyes in the back of her head, gave me nightmares for years. What a terrifying thought. But while we're on the subject of charging, do you know what else will autonomously navigate to a charging station in the future? Tesla released this little demo of their new Cybercab, which will park over an induction charger and charge itself. Remember Tesla's motto of the best part is no part, the best process is no process? This is just one of the many solutions to Tesla bringing about robo-taxis at scale, and hopefully someday to all future Teslas. And a massive thanks to EV Dave who sent me this footage whilst attending the event. Check out his YouTube channel at EV Dave. He also supports me on Patreon at the highest level, which I am most thankful for. Feel free to join too for extra bonus content from me. Link in the description below. Consider how much simpler charging will be. Removing the process of getting out of your car, grab a charging cable, insert the cable, disconnect it when complete, reinsert plug into the charger. I know it doesn't sound like much to do and it's not really, is it? But 
What if it's raining or you're alone in a dodgy dark neighbourhood and don't particularly want to get out of your car to charge? Induction charging solves this problem. Back to Optimus docking itself. Anyone slightly surprised or even disappointed that Tesla didn't design a groinal attachment to charge or even sit on some sort of, dare I say it, butt plug? I suppose an attachment in the back will do, but you know, missed a trick there Tesla, don't lose your sense of humour. And it heads back to work once it's charged. It can now pick up significant payloads such as this 11kg battery tray and carry it around autonomously without overheating, making the suggestion there that perhaps it used to overheat under such conditions. 11 kilograms ain't nothing. Going back to our first introduction to Optimus just three years ago, Tesla was aiming at a carrying capacity of 45 pounds, which is around 20 kilograms. Another 9 kilograms to go, making progress then. Oh, and let's not forget this sneaky new Tesla bot hand that was hidden at the RoboTaxi reveal with 22 degrees of freedom. Solving the hand problem to make it as capable as a human hand really is the pinnacle of robotic engineering. I cannot wait to see version 3 of Optimus, these hands included. I suspect it'll be mind-blowing. Optimus is now venturing on non-flat terrain. Sounds so easy for us humans, right? Core balance and micro-movements to stay upright must be challenging to say the least. It's great to see Optimus navigating our world that is, of course, built for humans, therefore humanoids too. I've heard pretty much total mockery at the very idea of building humanoid robots. Why not just have robot arms carrying out tasks as we've had for decades? Well, over to Grok we go for the most concise reasons as to the benefits of humanoid robots. Task versatility. They can use human tools and navigate human environments. That's a biggie. Safety. Perform dangerous, repetitive tasks without risk to human life, or as Sandy Monroe calls it, the three Ds. Humanoid robots would eliminate dangerous, dirty, drudgery jobs. And I would have said the word drudgerous, but apparently that's not a word. Labour solution. Addresses workforce shortages in various industries. Precision offers high accuracy and consistency in tasks, as we've already seen from today's working robots. Assistance, helping the elderly or disabled, enhancing autonomy. Education and research, tools for learning and advancing scientific study. Economic impact, boost productivity, potentially driving economic growth. There's an understatement. Humanoid robots at scale, and I'm talking billions of humanoid robots, have the ability to solve the entire labour market. Everything that's currently built on planet Earth could be built by robots. Exploration. Can explore harsh environments, unsuitable for humans. Guess where that might be before long? You got it. Elon's reasoning for practically all of his companies. The colonisation of Mars. You know, so we can back up our species in case things go badly for planet Earth. Like robots take over. Hmm. Human augmentation. Enhance human physical and cognitive abilities. These would be technologies that improve human capabilities. Think cochlear implants or robotic limbs. Not that sort of cochlear implant. Filthy. And finally, service. Can work in customer service, hospitality and personal home assistance. That needs a deep dive video all in itself. So much to consider. Quite a lot of benefits in the long run, hey? All we've got to do is not make them evil or put red light bulbs in them. Oh, well done, Tesla. Too late for that already. In fact, while we're on the subject of evil robots, what do we think of this delightful manoeuvre? That's not terrifying at all, is it? Why not make it do this while you're at it? Can we just keep robots less creepy is all I'm saying? We've trained its AI to interact with people. During the Wii Robot event, Optimus was interacting with an audience. Still not totally clear on how much teleoperations were at play here, as in a human operating the top half of the robots. Look, I've got no doubt that Tesla will reach ludicrous abilities with Optimus, but I'd also rather know the truth of its capabilities as we see clear advancements. You know, clear transparency does seem best, does it not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It can also react to unsafe behaviours. Not sure if this fist bump denial was seen as unsafe, but Optimus casually leaving him hanging with this one. And it handed out different items upon request. These new skills are all learned by a single neural net, also running in real time on Optimus's embedded computer. I'm hopeful that the creation of Tesla bots bring with it a radical benefit to society. We just so happen to be alive right now to witness this extraordinary man lead this extraordinary company amongst others shape our future into a potentially far better one. That's why I started Tesla Jigsaw to keep track and share the incredible progress of what's really going on. 
If you somehow missed the Wii Robot event and want to see what's coming in the future, here's my summary. Or what about this, one of my first videos, Tesla Bots, Robot Hell or Human Utopia? Still relevant, if not a little cringy from my point of view, looking back on it. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patrons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.